Hello! So this may look like it's a KonMari video, what with a large pile of stuff all together on a table, but actually it is the long-anticipated planner collection video. I'm going to show you exactly what I have, how I'm using it, and we're going to go through each of my traveler's notebooks and my filofaxes. I am down, all of my ring binders are now filofaxes. I've sold all of my Kiki K's, so filofaxes and my collection of traveler's notebooks. So I wanted to get them all together to start so you can see the sheer quantity of them. I have one, two, three, four, five standard size traveler's notebooks. I have three pocket or field note size. I have two passports and one, uh, this fits moleskin, volant, extra small ones. See, it's everything falls down. I also have my personal sized Philodori that I, last week I did my video on how I converted the personal size Malden into a traveler's notebook. So that kind of bridges the gap between the two. Then I've got my A5 Philofax Malden. Uh, one personal size is the Urban Slate. I have two pocket size and two minis. So let's start with the Philofaxes and get those done first. So move all of these out of the way and let's go. Oops, knocked it off the table. Okay, so I'll start just briefly with the Philodori since it kind of bridges the gap between the two. I did a more in-depth look through in the video last week, so I'm not really going to go through this. But this just houses um, all of my lists. So I have a list for personal family, um, household management sort of things. I have one that goes for my uh, planner stuff, so it has a list of the planners that I own, different planner ideas. And then I also have one for my goals and uh, goal tracking for each month. But I do not have, um, I'm still still waiting to get a new different cover for that notebook. So I haven't gotten that in yet. It's not fully set up and I don't have a use for this one yet. But that is the purpose of this notebook. If you want a more in-depth look in the no into exactly what's set up in here and also how I did it, how I removed the rings, check out my video from last week and you will see all the steps for that. So we'll start with the biggest. This is my A5 Filofax Malden and Ochre. Now I had used this uh, as household management. It used to, at the very beginning, it had my daily docket in it. I have all sorts of setup videos for how I've used it in the past. Now it basically is kind of a reference binder, I guess, for things that we need for our house. So I have a couple of business cards, I have stamps, I have uh, mailing address labels and uh, my grocery list that we keep that I made that we keep on the refrigerator to add to throughout the week. Those are what are in the pockets as well as just things like post-its and flags. My first section here is, I'm not going to go through this as much because it's all personal information. My first section here, is, and also because that would be a really long video if I went through all of it. Anyway, first section is our gym uh, kids center activities. Uh, we have an awesome gym that has a kids academy and they have different class schedules. So all this information that I need for the gym, swim lessons, that sort of stuff is on that first tab. Second tab is my oldest son's school. He starts kindergarten next month. And so I have his uh, yearly schedule schedule and once we get class rosters and all that, all that information goes in there. If you want to see how I have it set up more, my most recent video on this binder uh, or on just my home management binder, which everyone I was using at the time has that. Third tab, my youngest will start preschool this fall. So that's his school stuff behind there. Fourth tab, I have addresses. Those are family addresses. They are medical, like all of our doctors, as well as our insurance uh, contact and information, and then utilities. Uh, so that is that next section there. Uh, there is nothing in this section. It's, uh, this also used to be my journal, but I have moved that elsewhere, and so I've left, been left with several empty tabs that I'm kind of filling up. I have finances next, and so these are things, expense pages I've moved from different size binders, um, budgeting, and then I have the Kiki K inserts, and then I also have, uh, if I can get to them, Filofax inserts. And so every Saturday I go through and write down the different expenses I color code um, because that keeps me track of what categories they're in. So groceries, eating out, gas, um, utilities, those sorts of things. My last section is just a coupon. So I have some rain checks, different uh, no expiration or long-term expiration coupons that are dollars off, uh, different 
activities that we might do, uh, different attractions, coupons for those. And then I have another one of these uh, sleeves from, I think it's Simple Stories, but it fits perfectly in an A5. And so I have family pictures, some probably Project Life cards, etc., and notepad in the back. So this lives downstairs in the kitchen. We have a desk uh, built into our counter, one of our counters there. And so anytime we need to reference something with the kids' school or gym schedule, or I need an address, I just pull this out and it's all ready to go. So here in my urban, I have my book journal. I just recently did a flip through of that, so I'm not going to go through this. If you want to look at my One Book July update and, and reading journal file effects, I forgot exactly what it's called. I may link these videos I'm referencing below. Um, but those, that is that was my flip through of all this. It's just my reading log, book reviews with A to Z tabs, uh, past books I've read, books to read, uh, and different stuff like that. So I love this file of facts. It's one of my favorites. Um, I like the way it looks, but also I just love the contents. It makes me happy. So I reach for this a lot. Next I have my Apex Pocket. Now I did a review of this again and an overview as well as a quick setup video. So I will link that below and uh, not go through this as detailed. Just a word about this binder. This is the only one that I have that doesn't really spark joy. I don't really like the way it looks. It's not that special to me. Um, I loved and I kind of miss my Kiki K small gold that I used to use this for. Uh, I used to use for this. But someone else really was really looking for it, and so I decided to sell it to her. I got this from an Australian site for just a few dollars. Um, and even with shipping, it was still really, really cheap. So it does the job in that it has the six rings that I need for these inserts. But would I choose it again? Definitely not. Um, so this is the only one that I won't replace it because I don't carry it with me. It lives on a shelf up in the office, and I keep track of my expenses for buy sell trade so anything I buy anything I sell gets recorded there as well as my online shopping log so I know when to expect packages um, so that's all that's in here I do reference it a lot um, but it's not really one that I love it's just as far as the exterior so that's this one these two I will treat somewhat together um, my Filofax Malden and Ochre my pocket and my mini size these are my kids scrapbooks and so this is for my oldest I have pictures I have favorites for each year I have funny quotes they say and then I have A to Z tabs in the back with different information like vaccines illnesses and a bunch of blank paper in the back my youngest one is set up the same way my mother-in-law sent them, I think it was Easter baskets, and they had these tags on them, and I asked my oldest if he wanted it, and he said no. And then my youngest is almost two, so he didn't really have a vote in it. And so I attached these as charms on here for their initials, which I thought was neat. So my youngest, same setup. Pictures. He's only one, so there's not that much. Um, I don't have any favorites written out for him yet, because that will start this year, next month. Um, don't really have any quotes because he's he's talking now, but his most his longest sentence is four words, and then the A to Z tabs again for vaccines, illnesses, likes, dislikes, any allergies, that sort of thing. So I will link that video below, but those have stayed pretty much the same. And then finally, my gray um, mini Malden, which is my travel and activity binder. Again, I have a separate setup video for this, and so look below for that. But it has uh, local places that we want to go, like restaurants or activities, things to do. It has day trips um, that I'd like to plan to go to, different ideas of restaurants and uh, attractions for those. Um, it has more long-term places I would like to go for an actual vacation sometime in the next year or two. Um, and then it has really long-term someday vacations that I'd like to go ahead and start planning. I haven't had time to do that much in here. I've gotten the day trips and the local things fleshed out much more, but the more long-term, just because we're not planning anything imminently, are not quite as filled out yet. So, those are all of my ring binders. I have moved most of my stuff and most of the stuff I reference on a regular basis to the Traveler's Notebooks that we'll go through next. Um, but there's certain things, especially the reading journal where I'm constantly adding books, that the ability to take out a single page or add a single page is a huge deal. 
Um, also, something like this. I could technically transfer all of this over into a book in a traveler's notebook, or I could do what I've done, and I'll show you in just a second. Um, and I have another video on and bind them together and make the, make a booklet without having to recopy all the information. But I just I just didn't want to do that at this point. Maybe sometime in the future, or maybe for next year if I decide to do a different system for 2016, I would do that. But for the time being. It is what it is, but the rest of these I love just looking at. I love the Malden look, and so they're just they're just fun for me. So, speaking of making a transformation between the two, we're not, I'm not going to go through these in any certain order necessarily. But this is my homesteading binder, and this is the one where I took Filofax inserts and just threaded them together. I'll link the video below, as I said before. But I have egg production. We've lost three chickens this year. We've had our chickens for two years, hadn't lost a single one. And then all of a sudden, this summer, we have lost three, two to foxes and one to some sort of an illness. Um, so our egg production has, and plus they're two years old, but our egg production has slowed way down because we had nine chickens. Now we're down to six and we're only getting one or two eggs a day, which is really sad. So next is the garden. My garden's not doing well this year, y'all. I don't know what is going on, but... It's just not producing the way I had hoped, but this is just my stuff about the garden and canning. I haven't really gotten to the canning season just yet, only still the elderberry syrup. And then seed packets and stickers. So home sitting binder here in this passport size floppy dory. I should probably say who these are all from. This is Made with Planner Love. She's Made with Love Crafter on uh, Instagram, but on Etsy, Made with Planner Love. And uh, this is her floppy dory. I don't know if she makes these anymore, um, but at one time she had these in her shop. So next, why don't we go back down to the small one that I skipped over. This is the Beauty Beautyo Bunker. It's the chestnut, uh, thick and supple, and uh, it's the moleskin, extra small size. And uh, I have one notebook that I just stuck in there because I hadn't replaced it yet. I need to do the stamping in it. This has been my uh, my Hyperdex time tracking. As I said in my last One Book July video, I'm taking July off. So I only have, through June, I have two books. I started this in either February or March. And so I have two books that I've already filled up and taken out. Um, but it's just how I... Everything's color-coded. I use colored pencils. And it's how I keep track of what's going on in our lives. Um, so I took this book out to stamp it before I decided to do One Book July and, uh, and not doing this for this month. And there's my key in the back. But this is just a cute little notebook. It's beautiful leather. I used to have this in the regular size as well. And I also briefly had one in the field note size in the brown thick and supple. It was just too floppy for me. Um, so I just am down to this one. So my other passport size, this is one of my newest ones. This is Annika Hanby, her Damask. And I had her do her switch the colors to make it like the Sherlock wallpaper. How gorgeous is that? I love Sherlock. I love Benedict Cumberbatch, Batch, just period. Um, but I love watching the show Sherlock. So sad that they keep delaying when the next season's going to be. I think it's up to like 2016 or 2017 now. Anyway, this I don't really have a set purpose for yet. I just had a couple of passport size books, and so I stuck them in there. Mostly I just couldn't. I had to get something in this print because I love Sherlock so much, and I didn't want to spend more money on getting a larger size. Um, I have a lot of Annika's work, and she's a true artisan. I'll show all of hers together in just a second, but here's this one. Some other Annika ones that I have. This is from her Fox collection. So it is this gorgeous fox-colored red with this um, masking technique that she uses. This is the actual leather peeking through the bottom. And this I just use to hold past challenge notebooks, so different field notes. This is using the Life Capture journaling prompts. This one was for April. And then here's my one for May. That is some pictures into this one. And then this is last month. This is when I did the... Um, June Lister's got a list. I switched over to doing that. This one's nice and fat. And then this is the uh, notebook that she or not notebook folder that she made that goes with it. So that's currently what I'm using these is to hold together 
all the last challenges. Um, I'm guessing I'm taking, I'm doing one this month for July that I'll show you in a second in my main planner. Um, but I'm guessing that will probably fill this up because they're kind of thick ones. And uh, I'm not, I'm going to be taking next month off from doing any sort of challenges. So I'm not sure how, what the future of this one's going to be as far as what I'm going to use it for, but it's so cute. I jumped on it when she put it up. It was a limited edition. So there is that one. And my other Annika Hanby uh, field note size, this is the first field note size I ever got. It's her sea glass. It's a different leather. I think it's the oak leaf leather. It's definitely stiffer. Um, but this is used for my religious and spiritual. So let me hit this down. My first book here is Bible Study Notes. Um, this is from an annual conference this year. One of my seminary professors leading the Bible study, and so notes from his Bible study, but I just use it for any sort of notes like that or reflections. Um, this is my weekly lectionary uh, notebook. It's my second notebook. Again, another field notes, notes notebook. Um, the sermon notes go in here as well as uh, just reflections on the lectionary text. I'm not always good about it. I haven't done it every week, which is kind of bad. And this is also the notebook that I take with me to church. And so uh, the last one is just a blank notebook that I give to my kids so that during the sermon, while I am writing my sermon notes, they can be doodling and scratching away in there. So that is this notebook. And my last field note size is my Chic Sparrow Maverick and the golden brown, and it's the pocket size, of course. I have my Outlander charm that came with my Geek Dory on here. So I think it goes pretty well. So in here, this is one that has changed setup some over time, so I am going to go through this one a little bit more. Um, let's see. The first notebook is my 30 before 30, so I'm still working on it. I'm 28 now, so I have two more years. Um, I'm still working on coming up with all 30 items, but this is my notebook that I am going to have 30 things that I want to accomplish before I'm 30 and then journal and reflect on them as I do them. So that's what this first notebook is. This next notebook is my word notebook, my vocabulary builder. So anytime I need to update this because I haven't been updating it lately because of One Book July, um, so I haven't been reaching for this as much. But this is uh, if I tag a book in, or tag a word in Kindle, on my Kindle or if I come across a book, in, a word in a hard copy that I'm just not sure of the meaning or I think, just think is a neat word, then I will go through and write it down and with the definition so that I can have those and incorporate them into my vocabulary. Then I have one of Annika's folders and I use it mostly just to hold masking stickers. This is my reference book right here, or research book more. So any sort of a topic that I want to look up online or take notes about, I will, um, or just keep track of various bits of information, I do it in here. So here's my index, I just numbered the odd pages. Um, so when I was researching fountain pens, some of the other ones. Planner ideas, this is mostly watching YouTube videos, things that I come across and want to incorporate into my system. Baby wearing carries, here's my note of ones that I, carries that I'm interested in but haven't looked up or, tr or haven't tried yet. So once I try them, I do my pluses and minuses of them. And so on and so forth for this notebook. There's the back of that folder. And then usually in here, this is where my monthly challenge notebook would go. is right in there, but because of One Book July, I've taken that out and put it into my main planner. So this last book here is my kind of short-term list, I guess I would say, things that I'm not going to need to reference long-term, but that are more permanent than I would just put on a sticky note. So racks I'm planning on sending out, clothes I need to buy. Um, this list kind of goes in between, but it changes so much that I didn't want to put it anywhere permanent. Um, but restaurants where kids eat free and what nights they do. Clothes that my kids need, and I'm keeping track of my KonMari method videos and uh, just how I'm doing in the video. Books and authors to investigate. Basically, if a book that I'm reading references another book or a video or something I'm watching references a book and I want to look into it before I commit myself to putting it on my to-read list, it goes here. Um, house DIY list, things that I want to do around the house, and different recipes to try out. Um, so that's just, I use masking stickers to label each list. And there, you can see how it goes. So. 
In the back here, I just have um, some washi, some of my favorite ones on a Starbucks card. And I have, again, this idea was from uh, uh, Carrie Harling, uh, dispatched from the Hackbrat House, to use a folded over Project Life card and stick sticky notes and flags in there. So this is, I would call this probably my main field notes or pocket uh, planner. This is one that if I'm going to reach for one, this is generally the one I'm doing because this is just for religious and Sundays and Bible study. But this is one I reference sometimes when it's not one book July. I sometimes do it every day and sometimes a couple of times, at least a couple of times a week. So, moving on to my full-size ones. This is my confetti dory right here. Side note right quick, I just got this these charms, these little circle word stamp charms. They're Tim Holtz. And I got it on Friday at Michael's, and I got them thinking, okay, I really don't need any more charms, but they're so cute, and I had a coupon for 50% off, so it was only going to be like $4 for an entire pack of them. And I thought, I'll just take the ones that I don't like, and I can sell them to kind of make up some of the money. Well, I like all of them. I can't think of a single one. I mean, I don't need any of them currently, but I, but I might want to switch them out, and I don't want to make get rid of that possibility. I'm such a hoarder, y'all. It's, it's a problem. I love these little charms. Anyway, I didn't want to cover up any of the beautiful fabric here. This is from Teddy Confetti, a confetti dory. This just recently came from Australia. This is the one that I was waiting to come to do this video. So it took a little while to get here, and it is just gorgeous. It is so well made. I'll show you on the back here. This is one of her little trademark things. She does a little heart into the stitching. How cute is that? So this is called Perch. Um, I believe that was the one it was called, is Perch, uh, for this fabric combination. And it's no longer available. Look at the inside here. How cute. I love both of these fabric choices. And I got an extra pin loop on mine so I can have a spare. This is what I use for my journaling. I had been doing my journaling in my A5 Malden just using the standard Filofax Week on two pages. But I decided to move it over into a traveler's notebook in part because it's easier to archive. And this is, I can see this so much now because I've moved the stuff out of my A5 Filofax. So I have several months worth of journaling. I just have no good way to store um, that I can reference it easily. Whereas this, once I'm done with a month or done with a year, and this is on a rubber band so it's kind of hard to take out, I could just take it out and just stick it in a shoebox or something and it's easily able to reference. So what I use for these are the Ray Blakes um, from his website, My Life All in One Place, and I use just his daily, um, or his day on one page. And so it's a lot of writing space. This is before I got started using this, so I haven't gone back in and filled in all of these. I've filled back in some, but not all of them. Um, but it gives me a lot more space to just write down what went on each day. And since the Confetti Dory will hold six notebooks, and each of these notebooks has two months worth, I can get the entire year in here, which is really nice. So I just use an Ollie clip to go to the current page, but I've already got them in here for the rest of the year. So I use this every night just to recount the day. If I can get the elastic over. So I love this, so gorgeous. It's my first time having a fabric one that's a fully fabric, and I knew that this was going to be good quality, so that's the one I went with. Next I have this I got off of the Buy Sell Trade page, um, and it is a uh, it's from Monique. I'm not sure what her shop is. It's like Morgan Le Fay Trin Lefay's Trinkets, I believe it is. This is her Vintage on Fire. Um, and it is just, a, I saw this and just fell in love, even though I so didn't need another one. I just thought it was so neat, so pretty. Look at that. So this I use, it is taking the place of my Writer Series one that I used before for handwriting improvement. So I just have the French line, French ruled. Um, insert here for again from Ray Blake's My Life All in One Place and I use it to work on my handwriting. Haven't been doing that as much this summer with both boys home. I have a folder from Annika Hamby. It was part of my Geek Dory. And then I have my ink log. So that's currently all that's in here. But I had to come up with a use for it because I had to have it. All right. So next other thing that I'm not currently in use, this had been my main planner, it's my Chic Sparrow Golden Brown Maverick in the narrow size. It had been my main planner before I got my Gilio that I'll go through in a minute. I currently do not have any elastic in here because I took it out for um, my Philodory to use in there while I'm waiting on more elastic to come in. 
Currently, it's just storing um, other inserts. So my next rolled insert for my next journal, a week on two pages that I decided not to use, my craft insert that I've used in the past, um, another folder that's not currently being used, a folder I made, and then a couple of uh, scrapbook covers for inserts. So right now, I'm just folding it over, and it's working just fine, just sitting on the shelf. I love this. Even though I'm not using it, I can't get rid of it just because... First of all, she can't even get the golden brown Maverick leather anymore, and even if she could, it wouldn't look like this. When I first got this, I didn't like the stark divide there, but now I absolutely love it. And so I can't, I can't bring myself to get rid of it, just in case, because I know I wouldn't be able to replace it. So next we'll do my Geek Dory. It has been fully repaired. You can see no more missing pa uh, paint. When it was shipped, it was so hot that the wrapping paper she used on it bound to the um, bound to the sealant and ripped the paint off when I tried to open it, so it was very sad. But currently this is my, because it's so beautiful and it inspires me so much, it is my creative outlet um, binder at the moment, notebook at the moment. So I have my first, this is the Midori Thin paper, it's where I do some watercoloring, um, it's also where I have some lists and quotes, it's where I've done some watercoloring. It's where I have my quotes. This is one on a series on motherhood. Um, I haven't been doing it quite as much lately, working on some lettering. I need to go back in. Um, I have a lot of quotes that I'd like to put in here. I just haven't. This is just a writing board that I made. I just haven't had time lately to go through it. I also keep, um, this is how I keep watercolor on the go. I trim down from my, I found that the Target dollar spot one of those kids watercolor books that has these at the top and so I just cut all of these off and now my kid still has a coloring book, a frozen coloring book but I have all of the watercolor stuff to use and keep with me. So next I have just the lined insert that came with the Geek Dory. It was a Piccadilly notebook that was cut down. So I have that to do some writing in and then last I just have um, a this, the standard Midori blank insert I just covered with scrapbook paper and so this has just reflections on different things this is from annual conference the unity dialogue that we had and um, it, this is the notebook that I'll generally pop out of here and put into my main one if I'm going to a conference or something that I think I would need to be taking some notes on so absolutely beautiful I love this I can't put this on a shelf because I just want to look at it all the time so it just stays sitting on my desk propped up so I can stare at it. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so my last one, this is the one that I'm currently using, is my Giglio. This is what I'm using for One Book July, Giglio Giramundo and the Apoca Purple. And uh, so I won't, I've gone through this a couple of times, um, but it has all of my wallet, all of my insert, uh, planning inserts, and it's got my monthly challenge um, one, and it's got my journal that I use as well as coupons in the back. So I'll link below some of the videos that I have on this, but this is my main one, and in July, it is basically the only one that I'm using of my traveler's notebooks. As you can see, because I have this wealth of beautiful stuff, it was hard to go down to just one that I'm using for everything. Um, but it's almost over, and then I can go back to enjoying my wealth. So do I necessarily need all of these notebooks? No, of course not. Of course I don't. Of course there are plenty of people that have none of these and they function just fine. But they are beautiful and I love them and they make me happy. And that's the reason if I were to, I mean I go through regularly and I sell ones and I try and get rid of ones because I know that I have a lot. I think at one time I've, I've had passed through this house 20 different Filofaxes and I have 7. So I've sold 13 of the ones that have come through this house. Haven't sold quite as many of the Traveler's Notebooks, also haven't been using those as long. Um, but I've sold at least four or five of them, and I have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, and eleven if you count if you count uh, my go between here. Um, obviously, I do not need them, but they bring joy to my life. They are a hobby. They are fun. They are pretty, and in the grand scheme of things, grand scheme of things, they don't cost that much. Obviously, you can make them cost a lot more. Um, but I've gotten good deals on most of the file effects I've bought. I've gotten decent deals on the Traveler's Notebooks. A lot of them I have bought new, though, um, so that it has still been a fair chunk change investment. 
but they bring me joy. And at the end of the day, you surround yourself with things that bring you joy. So I hope that this was fun to go through them, these. I hope you're not disgusted by the excess. I hope maybe it's given you some ideas for ways that you can use an unused binder. Um, I try to make sure everyone has a use. This is currently the only one that is sitting empty. I also do have a one other file of facts that I've been trying to sell, so it's currently empty. Um, and it is, let's see if I can grab it right quick. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous and I love it, but it's just not being used, so it's being listed for sale. It is my Filofax Tropic and Mahogany. It is gorgeous, beautiful. I hadn't seen one like it when I bought it, um, but I'm just not using Filofaxes for planning every day anymore, and so I just don't, I can't justify keeping it, especially as much as that one was. It's one of the higher end ones. Um, so that one is for sale, but the rest of these, they just bring me too much joy to let go for now. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more planner videos, more Kanmari videos, more of any of the crazy stuff that I love and that surrounds me with joy. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see all those things that bring joy to my life. Hopefully it'll bring some joy to yours. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.